Today marks a long-standing tradition for many parents. You know the day after Halloween is the perfect time to mine your child's trick-or-treat bag and dig out all the good stuff you love and they won't miss. But there is another tradition we want to tell you about today, and this one involves godparents. So of course, I invited one of my children's godparents to join me in the studio today. Marty Thompson is the godparent to my youngest son, Fox, and she not only knows how to pronounce Aller Heiligen Striesel, she's also gonna show us how to make it because in Austria and Germany, it is traditionally given to godchildren on All Saints Day, the day after Halloween. How did I do? You did, you did pretty well. Let's do it again. Yep. Aller Heiligen Striesel. Aller Heiligen Striesel. Yep. Aller. Where does the word come from? Well, it's German. Um, and so Aller means all. Aller. Heiligen is like holy. So all saints. And then Striesel is like a, yep. a, a bread or a bread. strudel or something like that. Aller Heiligen Striesel. Aller yeah. Heiligen Striesel. Aller. I got it. Yep. With any dialect, there's a lot of different ways to say it. But Aller Heiligen Striesel is what we're going with today. So we're going to learn how to make the bread. But first... I wanted to share a picture of Fox's baptism <laughs> where you were because this is a special Aww. moment. Oh, look at him. Look at he's him. just looking at Pastor Jeff. And he was one of the better babies I've had at a baptism. He was really great. He was. He, he hardly was. screamed at all. <laughs> and then afterwards with your husband, Brad, who's also um, Fox's godparent. And then Ingrid, we've said God's sister, which is really actually quite true because it's your true. family really just does sort of, I'd say, help our family we along the way absolutely do. Absolutely do. You know, we're all Thompsons, so we're all in it together. We can't do everything, people. And I can be responsible for some things with kids, but I can't be responsible for everything. And so it's good to have a friend who's like, did you know what's happening at church next yeah. week? Did you know it's time to sign up for this, right? Yep. Yep. We need those people in our lives. We sure do. Well, thank you for that and for letting me get you to come in here and teach this. Yeah, this is exciting. So this is a pretty easy bread to make? Oh my gosh, it's so much easier than I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah, for me sure. The steps. So I was a little bit um, intimidated by making bread, but this is a sweet dough and all you do is you throw all the ingredients into the mixer and, and mix it up. So it's, and it's just basic things that you have around your house. So flour, right. yeast, butter, some sugar, um, some lukewarm milk, and basically you toss that all into the mixer and mix it up. And we have a picture of when you're putting it into the mixer mm -hmm. and then once it's mixed up, just to kind of give viewers a sense since we're not mixing it right here of what that looks like. And this is also one where you don't have to like activate the yeast? No, you don't. Okay. So I used um, rapid rise yeast. And basically, so sometimes you have to activate yeast by adding it to lukewarm water mm -hmm. or milk or some kind of liquid to kind of get it growing first. Nope, you just dump it all into just the bowl and mix it up. Just dump it all in and, mix, and it up. mix it up. Yep. But you do still need to let it rise. You do. So after it's all mixed up, I kneaded it for about five minutes and then let it rise for an hour until it was doubled in size. So we have a picture on the left is when you put it in the bowl initially. Yep. And then on, on the right there is what it after. after. And literally it took only an hour for it to rise. And then it was soft and fluffy. It was soft and fluffy. I cheated a little bit. I put it in my oven. So I turned my oven on to, to 170 like the degrees mm -hmm. and then shut it off. And that helped it to rise really quickly. I don't think really that's quickly. cheating. I think that's what that oven setting's for. They is always that what say it's that. For? The Great British Baking Show, I was like, poof, <laughs> poof your bread. Well, I, I learned something new. I think it's real. Okay. And then. This is interesting too. So then you take this and you make how many little braids and then a big braid? Yep, so this recipe made 12 small braids and then the one large braid that's there. And honestly, the, probably the trickiest part of the recipe is braiding it. But once you know how to do it, it's super simple and it's really easy dough to work with. And you actually pull like a specific weight out? Yep, Okay. so it's, um, for this bread, I weighed all my ingredients. It's a mm -hmm. little more precise that way than just using a measuring cup. And so it's 7.6 6 grams of dough for each little braid. Okay, so now should we, just, should we roll it out? Yep, so let's okay. practice this. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to tear off just like one third of the piece of dough. Okay. Okay, and like I say, this is the trickiest part. I'm gonna use a smaller piece first and I'm just gonna roll it into a rope. How long of a rope? About eight inches. An eight inch rope. Yep. And this is going to be one of the portions of the braid. What is the okay. um, meaning of it braided for this? Well, so, so um, All Saints Day is a celebration of those that have gone before us. Um, and traditionally, um, back when this bread was initially started, when this tradition started, when women were mourning, they would cut off their braid. And so like at the, at the funeral of whoever was deceased, they would actually cut off their braids. And so this bread is supposed to kind of represent the, the braids that the mourning women 
cut off. As you kind of celebrate the people that... Yes, you yes, you celebrate and remember. That's really interesting. The Do you have any idea why it's something you give to your godchildren? Um... Well, just a kind of a tradition, maybe. I but. think it's, it is. It's a tradition, and um, it's just a good way to kind of have a good conversation about their faith and what it means to be a godparent. I suppose in a way... What their religion means in their life. If you're here living as a godparent, you can kind of give them something watching over some of the people that Truth. have left their lives, too. Yes, and it's also a special treat. It's a sweet bread. Yeah. And so... I, we have a lot of sweets usually, but that's not really typical. So if you do one eight inches and the other one's about 16. The other one's about 16. And, then and this, this is the toughest part to get these to roll into ropes that look nice. Okay. So then you make a U shape out of the larger rope, the longer rope. And then place this other one in the middle. Place the other one in the middle and then you braid. Okay. And you just kind of leave a tail. Yep. Leave okay. a tail because you're going to tuck that under at the end. At least I do know how to braid. Yes. Got that experience with me. Yes, so once you get it rolled up, it's just super simple. You make your braid. But all in, with 12 little braids and a big one, even with the time it took you to like let this rise, it still was a pretty... About two and a half yeah. hours. Okay, and that was under. an hour of it rising where I could go oh, and pick up my braid? kitchen and do some other stuff. How do you think? So. Am I hired in your bakery? Yeah, you did great. Thank you. It's beautiful. So once it's to this process where you've got your braid, then you're going to... So then I... Um, I whisked an egg and I did an egg wash over the top and baked it in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so. And so that egg wash helped give it a nice brown um, Is there any other topping. traditions with this? Like, I'm going to try it now. Should I do so, we share it? So, or do I just try it? So one of the superstitions with this bread is that if they don't rise, it's a sign of bad luck. Did this rise? So it, yeah. Okay, it, it, it rose very well. Can I, can <laughs> like, I try? I was kind of relieved. <laughs> We actually have like a good, a well risen oh. bread to celebrate All Saints Day. That's, a, that's like a cinnamon roll without the cinnamon. It's delicious, right. isn't it? Thank you very much for the bread and for being factors. You're welcome.